Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we are going to solve several numerical examples of the topic called Venturimeter. And if you have not viewed my previous lecture where I have explained you how does Venturimeter use, is useful to calculate the flow rate and what is the final form of equation that you can be that you can use to calculate the flow rate, then please do visit that lecture first and then come back over here. Okay. Fine. So let us start with the first numerical. I have an oil of specific gravity 0.8 is flowing through a venturimeter having inlet diameter. Just a minute, let me just take the pen tool. Okay. An oil of specific gravity 0.8 is flowing through a venturimeter having the inlet diameter as 20 centimeter and throat diameter as 10 centimeter. So I have in your venturimeter, throat diameter is 10 centimeter and inlet is let's say uh, 20. So I'll put this D1 and D2. Let's say this D1 and D2. So, I will say given data, given data, specific gravity of oil, of, that, is, that is the fluid is 0 0.8. That means what? Density of oil will be what? It will be 0 0.8 into 1000. Yes, that will be 0, 0, 0,800 kg per meter cube. The, and they, they say that the venturimeter has inlet diameter that is D1. D1 is 20 centimeters. So, you convert that into meter, you will get 0 0.2 meters because we will always use the values in meters, okay, because of SI unit. And D2 is 10 centimeter, which is 0 0.1 meter. The oil mercury differential manometer shows a reading of 25 centimeters. So, that means what? They also have the mercury column, I mean, mercury as a manometric fluid. And uh, you can say the density of mercury will be 13600 kg per meter cube. See, density of mercury in water you have to always remember because many a times they don't give it, right? And then so density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube. The reading of the venturimeter is 25 centimeters. So this HM is what? HM is. 25 centimeter which is 0 0.25 meters. Calculate the discharge of the oil flowing through the horizontal venturimeter. Take CD as 0 0.98. So, CD is given to us as 0 0.98, isn't it? So, they are asking us to calculate the uh, flow rate Q, actual flow rate. Now, see, even if you do not remember formula, it is fine. No need to remember it. We know that we, can, we have derived the formula based on using the Bernoulli's equation at both this section, simple, right? And once Bernoulli is applied, we have found A1, V1 equals to A2, V2. And then from there, there are two equations, two unknown to get the value of V2. Once V2 is available with us, then you multiply by A2 to get the theoretical value of flow rate. And then multiply that with CD to get the actual flow rate. So I will solve in both the ways. One way I will just go by the derivation and all with the, without remembering the formula. In another numerical, I will use the formula, okay? So how do we do that? Let us say this section number one. Section number 2, okay. And uh, if I talk about applying Bernoulli's equation, P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 equals to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2. And since it is horizontal, from any datum Z2 and Z1 will be equal. So, you can cancel both of them out. And uh, uh, for this equation, I can say V2 square minus V1 square by 2g. If I rearrange these terms, I will get P1 minus P2 by rho g. Now, when I say rho, rho is for oil. Remember, because oil is flowing, right? So, rho is for oil. Now, simply, what is the case? Uh, if I put, take on the right hand side, this is V2 square minus V1 square equals to 2 times g is cancelled. 2 times P1 minus P2 by rho. Now, first, let, this is let's say equation number 1, for example. Let me calculate what is uh, P1 minus P0 first. So, if I start from here, uh, let us say this is your distance x, okay, and I uh, will mark several points, point number 1, point number 2, sorry, point number 3, because 2 is already given to this point, point number 4, point number 5, and then 6, and uh, then 2, right. So, if I talk about pressure, I can say that P1, if I am at this point, this is P1, I move down. I hope you are aware how to measure the pressure difference in venturi meter, right. I have uh, had the separate lecture for that. So, when you are moving from 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5 and 5, 2, 2, you have to uh, check whether how much pressure is increasing and decreasing. So, I am at here, this point pressure is P1. When you move down to point 3, you, your pressure increases by what amount? Rho g h. What is the rho g h? Rho is density of the 
fluid of oil mainly the row oil g and h is your x plus h -L. so you can say plus row oil plus row oil g h m plus x okay then you are moving from 3 to 4 there is no change in pressure because both of them lies on the same horizontal line and they can be connected by the continuous line being in the same fluid then 4 to 5 pressure decreases how much rho m g h m because in between rho g h rho is density of mercury g and h is the height then again 5 to 2 pressure decreases how much rho oil g x because fluid field is oil distance is x so rho g h is this and this is equal to pressure at point 2 because you are at this point now now you take p on the left hand side you will get p1 minus p2 if you open this bracket up what you will get uh, the plus rho oil g h m plus rho oil g x minus rho m g h m minus rho oil g x equals to p2 this will get cancelled plus and minus what is so what you will left is sorry p2 will not be there it will be 0 because i have already taken p2 over here so now from here you can say p1 minus p2 is equals to uh, you can take both the sum on the right hand side you will get this plus and this minus so let me take another slide p1 minus p2 will be equals to rho m minus rho oil into g h m let me put the values you check this will be the values rho m goes on the right side this will become plus rho m minus rho oil and g h m is common and out so what is the answers what is rho m density of manometric fluid 13600 what is rho of oil 800 what is g 9.81 what is h m 0 0.25 25 centimeter right so it is 0.25 meters just calculate 13600 minus 800 into 9.81 into 0.25 you will get 31392 pascal is the pressure difference now where will you put this you will put this in this equation number one so what is the equation number one v2 square minus v1 square equals to p1 minus p2 into uh, sorry p1 minus p2 into 2 by rho of oil into 2 by rho of oil so let us put the values 31392 into 2 what is rho of oil 800 so put the answers you will get 78.48 this is v2 square minus v1 square okay v2 square. now still you are so yeah you have one equation where v2 and v1 are unknown now you can find another equation where v2 and v1 are unknown yes a1 v1 is equals to a2 v2 so from here v2 v1 will be equals to what v2 into a2 by a1 so you put the values what is this v2 into what is a1 a2 pi by 4 d2 square and pi by 4 d1 square you cancel this pi by 4 so v1 is equals to v2 into d2 square by d1 square so i can put like this uh, v1 is equals to v2 into what is d2 d2 is 0 0.1 0 0.1 then d1 is 0 0.2 whole square this is 1 by 2 almost and then square of that this is 0 0.25 v2 right so you can put this over here so what is v1 square now from this v1 square will be square of this 0.25 square this is 0 0.0625 v2 square just put it over here so v2 square minus 0 0.0625 v2 square equals to 78.48 from here what you can get is this will become 0.9375 v2 square equals to 78.48 just find out value of v2 from this equation you can easily get right how 78.48 divided by answer divided by this value you will get 83.712 and then under root of that v2 is 9.149 meter per second let me just check whether it is right or not okay finally let me let us move ahead first so now this is v2 now the, our final answer is what my q theoretical is a2 into v2 isn't it what is area 2 pi by 4 d2 square into v2 what is pi by 4 d2 is 0 0.1 square and v2 is how much v2 is 9.149 this is equal to huh? this sign is equal to pardon me for my poor handwriting Okay, so Q theoretical is equals to 
this into pi divided by 4 into 0.1 square. I will get 0 0.0718 meter cube per second as theoretical flow rate. This is not the final answer yet. You want the actual flow rate. Actual flow rate is what? It is CD multiplied by theoretical value of flow rate. That is 0 0.98 multiplied by 0 0.0718. You will get 0 0.07 meter cube per second as the actual. So, flow rate of the oil through this pipe is 0 0.07 meter cube per second. Now, do you know how much is this in liters? So, if you want to convert meter cube into liter, you multiply by 1000, right? So, multiply this by 1000, you will get 70 liters per second. So, almost from every section, 70 liters of oil is flowing in every second. Clear? So, I hope you understood how to solve numerical even without remembering the final formula. You just go by the concepts, right? Now, let us solve another example. Now, here I will not go for derivation. I will use the final formula and then from there you can uh, find the answers. So, a 30 centimeter cross 50 centimeter venturi meter is inserted in a vertical pipe carrying water. So, I have venturi meter in a vertical pipe. Now, 30 centimeter meaning that I, the diameter over here that is D1 is 30 cm and this throat that is D2 which is 15 cm is this is this means like this uh, a differential mercury manometer connected to the inlet and the throat gives a reading of 20 centimeter so a differential mercury so mercury meaning this is your rho m and this difference is hm and hm is equals to what this is given to us 20 centimeters so 0.2 meters find the discharge through the pipe if cd is your 0.98 so, let us say CD given to you is 0 0.98. You are supposed to find the discharge in the pipe, right? And it is said that uh, mercury. So, what is flowing through pipe? Water is flowing, right? So, density of fluid flowing through pipe is water. That is 1000 kg per meter cube. Density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube. HM given to you is 0 0.2 meters. Diameter 1 is... 30 centimeter meaning 0.3 meters. Diameter 2 at the throat is 15 centimeter means 0.15 meters. Anything else given to you? No, that's it. Now, what is the final formula? Final formula says that Q actual is equals to CD into A1, A2 under root of 2GH divided by A1 square minus A2 square. So, let us first figure out the values of all these variables. Let us say this is equation number. 1. So, I will just leave it from the top. First, I will find the values of each of them. So, first, what is A1? Let me put A1. A1 is what? A1 is pi by 4 D1 square that is pi by 4 0 0.3 square. What is A1? Pi by 4 into 0 0.3 square that is 0 0.0706 meter square. What is A2 similarly? A2 will be pi by 4. D2 square. D2 is 0 0.15 square. Pi by 4 into 0 0.15 square. This is 0 0.0176 meter square. So, I got A1 and A2. CD is given to me 0.98. 2G I know. What is H? H if you remember this is uh, rho M by rho F minus 1 into HM. So, what is rho M13600 manometric fluid? What is rho F? That is water, that is 1000 minus 1. Minus 1 into HM is what? 0 0.2. Find the value of H. 13600 divided by 1000 minus 1 into 0 0.2. 2.52 meters. Okay. So, you got the H, you got A1, A2, so everything is known. Now, you can find the Q actual. That is 0 0.98 into, what is A1? 0 0.0706. 0 0.0706. What is A2? 0 0.0176. 0 0.0176. Under root of 2 into 9.81 into 2.52 divided by A1 square. So, 0. 0706 square minus A2 square 0 
0.0176 square. Now find the answers of all of this. So I will say 2 into 9.81 into 2.52 divided by 0 0.0706 square minus 0 0.0176 square under root of that into 0 0.98 into 0 0.07. 0 0.06 into 0 0.0176. Let me verify the answer 0 0.125 meters cube per second. Let me check. Yeah, that is perfect. 0 0.125 meter cube per second is a perfect answer. This is the final answer. If you want this in liters, you can say. You can multiply it by 1000, this is 125 liters per second. So your fluid flow rate discharge through this vertical pipe is how much? 125 liters in one second. So I hope you understood how to solve these numericals. So for more such conceptual videos on engineering concepts, you can log into our website. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.